So you want to start with calisthenics, but have no idea where to start? Here are three calisthenics skills that anyone can learn in 2023. What's up guys, it's Maike here from Calisthenics Family. Calisthenics can be intimidating at first. Certain skills can look extremely difficult, but some of them are actually pretty easy to learn for most people. So today, I'm going to show you three calisthenics skills that you can start practicing even if you have little to no experience at all. And the best thing is that all the skills that I'm going to cover in this video are also implemented and can be learned through our Calisthenics Family workout app. So before I start, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to discover this week's giveaway. So without further ado, let's get started. The first exercise is the headstand. This skill is also found in yoga and is an inversion posture where the head is on the ground and the body is supported by the forearms and hands. You can start learning this skill by doing a dolphin pose. Begin by kneeling on the floor with your forearms resting on the ground in front of you. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up pressing your forearms and hands into the ground. Keep your head and neck relaxed as you lift your hips higher and straighten your legs as much as possible. Hold for a few breaths, then release and rest. Another great exercise to get started with the headstand is the tripod pose. Start on your hands and knees. Place your forearms on the ground, shoulder width apart, with your palms facing down. Interlace your fingers to create a stable base. Once you've mastered the handstand, you can challenge yourself by doing a dynamic headstand. Once you're in a straight position, try to tuck your knees in as slowly and controlled as possible and try to go down as much as you can. From here, raise your legs up towards a nice and straight position. The second skill that all beginners can learn is the elbow lever. This exercise, also known as the baby planche, is a calisthenics move where the body is parallel to the ground and supported by the arms, which are bent at the elbows. The elbow lever uses the chest, shoulder, triceps, core and back muscles to support the body in the horizontal position on the arms. A great exercise to get started with this skill is the frog stand, also known as the crow pose. Begin in a squat position with your feet close together and your hands placed on the ground in front of you, shoulder width apart. Slowly lean forward and place your knees on the back of your upper arms, keeping your elbows bent. Shift your weight forward onto your hands and try to lift your feet off the ground, holding the pose for a few seconds before releasing. This exercise will help you to build the necessary arm, core and wrist strength and you also develop the balance and coordination needed for the elbow lever. Another exercise that builds strength for the elbow lever is the pseudo push-up hold. This exercise involves holding a static movement in the bottom position of the push-up with the arms bent and the body straight and rigid, similar to a plank. Unlike a traditional push-up, the movement is isometric, meaning there's no up and down motion. It primarily works the muscles of the chest, triceps, shoulders and core, as well as the wrist and hand muscles that are used to support the body weight. If you've mastered the elbow lever, you can get to the next level by doing a one-arm elbow lever. The one-arm elbow lever is harder than the normal elbow lever because it requires significantly more strength, balance and control in the supporting arm, as well as increased tension and stability throughout the movement to maintain the horizontal position. The third and final skill that all beginners can learn is the L-sit. The L-sit is a calisthenics exercise that involves holding the body in a seated position with the legs extended and lifted parallel to the ground. This skill is also the foundation for many more advanced skills such as the L-sit to handstand and the V-sit. The L-sit primarily works the muscles of the core, hip flexors and quadriceps, as well as the triceps and shoulder stabilizers. You can start with the L-sit by training the tucked or one leg L-sit holds. Start with your legs tucked in and lifted off the ground, while holding your body up with your hands on the ground or on parallels. It requires significant core, hip flexor and arm strength, as well as body control and balance to maintain the position. In the tucked L-sit hold, the knees are bent and drawn in towards the chest, allowing for an easier progression towards the full L-sit position. Another great exercise to work towards the L-sit and train the required core compression strength are leg lifts. Sit on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you and place your hands on the ground or on parallels next to your hips. Slowly lift one leg off the ground, keeping it straight and parallel to the ground. Repeat with the other leg. This exercise will help you to develop the necessary core and hip flexor strength, as well as the flexibility and control needed for the L-sit. As you progress, try lifting both legs at the same time, 
working towards the full l -sit position. Once you've mastered the l -sit, you can try a harder progression of the l -sit, which is the V-sit. This is a more advanced version of the l -sit that involves lifting the legs higher and extending them forward to a form of a V-shape. To perform the V-sit, start in the l -sit position with your legs lifted parallel to the ground and then slowly extend your legs forward, keeping them straight and lifting them as high as possible while maintaining the horizontal position of the torso. All right guys, that's it already. Three catastrophic skills that you should be able to learn within 2023 if you're consistent and put in the effort. I hope this video was helpful and that you now know how to start working towards these skills. If you want to get started in a complete way with calisthenics, then check out our calisthenics family workout app. This app has over 500 calisthenics videos and 40 different courses that can take you from an absolute beginner to a pro. You can start the programs for free, so make sure to download the app in the Google Play or App Store and give this a try. Lastly, let's get into this week's giveaway. This week, we will give away one set of our optimal calisthenics family parallels. So how to win? Like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment within the first seven days after publishing this video. The winner will be announced in next week's video. So last video we gave away a full six pack calisthenics family resistance bands and the winner will appear right here in the screen. Congrats. So guys, that's it for this video. Let us know in the comments which skills you're going to unlock first and we'll see you next week. Peace out guys.